G'day, my name is Aaron, an Aussie bloke with a funny Dutch last name. 20 years ago, I had an adventure sailing to the remote Torres Strait. Now, I'm building a 22 foot catamaran to recreate that adventure and have many more. Join me as I build my boat and get sailing again. There's all the bulkheads rounded out. That's 14 bulkheads, 10 slots per bulkhead for the stringers. It's 140 routing <sighs> opportunities for me. So that's um, really happy that that is now done. We'll put that with the others. And now it's time to clean up because there is dust everywhere. And finally we get to set up our bulkheads and turn this into a boat. Turns out I jumped the gun thinking that I'm ready to start setting up the bulkheads. I still have to put the framing on the transom. Um, so I've got that all cut out, the joiner is done, I just need to get my epoxy mixed and I need to, down here, scarf my um, deck stringers. So these go up in these positions here. That's where these ones run. And they're two inch by one inch or about 45 mil by 22 millimeters. Then I had, I've cut some long scarfs in them, as you can see here. So they need to be joined. And this here is the, the transom. And see here, the notches have, have been cut in some two by one uh, Douglas fir, ready to receive the stringers. And there's a, a half notch here for a deck stringer there, and also the keel stringers down here. So, and this is a support for uh, the the rudder. There's the transom. It's got all its um, framing glued on, which is great. Looking pretty good. We've also got the two deck stringers. The scarf joints have been glued. And there is how much epoxy I did use. It's been wasted. So. At the end of this little uh, build, if, if I have no more than one tub's worth of wasted epoxy, I'm going to call that a win. So uh, we'll see what this looks like at the end, you know, a year or two from now. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for hopefully setting up the bulkheads. All right, time to set up the bulkheads. So I'm going to talk you through what Rich has got at here in his setting up procedure and the plans. There's a couple of things there that don't make sense, but I'll be able to problem solve that, so that's all good. But um, yeah, let's go through our procedure. Setting up procedure, steps one, two, three, and four are already done. Those are the blocks that we put down in our first episode of the build series. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the description to go back to the start. And the next step is step five, screw bulkheads four and five to blocks, hold vertical with temporary timber battens on keel and diagonal braces as shown in 2B4, which is this diagram down here. The thing is though, in Richard's plans here, he's got the blocks, sometimes they're on the front of the bulkhead, sometimes they're at the back of the bulkhead. And then down this picture down here, he's got them, he's got the braces to support the bulkheads on the back side of the blocks, whereas in his procedure, he doesn't have it that way, he's got it the other way. So I think this diagram is just, just a pretty picture to follow. The key information is in the writing here, and that's what we're gonna follow. So let's turn the camera around, and we're gonna start with fixing bulkheads four and five to our blocks. And Max stays exactly where we need to go. Thanks for looking after it. Come here, buddy. Good boy. So, bulkhead four, and you can see our center line on the bulkhead, and you can see the center line on the concrete and I'm going to put a clamp on this to hold it in position. Go 
whilst I get my screws in. I've left a little bit um, of the screw out because I may need to adjust this vertically. So once I've got these in, I'll then put my spurt level on this and I'll make sure that it's plumb up and down. Clamp can come off. Bucket 5 is now braced and plumb and now it's time for bucket 4 to be made plumb and braced and my process is I put a couple of nails uh, through with my nail gun into an extra piece here which my brace will attach to and will be embedded down into the block for bulkhead 5 coming up diagonally to this point here I'll be able to gauge for vertical with my long spirit level here I have my piece already cut and it will go in there you'll get a fastening right there where the two pieces meet and then it'll get fastened up here mm. so let's do it here's a close up of our spirit level our bubble is looking very good so in here we've got two nails one through there one in there one down there and then of course we get the same here two in there and one in there and there is our braced center bulkheads <laughs> Build the boat. What you got there? This? What is it? That. Nails. Oh, put a hole in there. You gonna put a hole in the boat with your nails? Yeah. yeah. Good job. I had the string line up between bulkhead four, five, and six, and all that is perfectly straight, which is great. I'm now gonna take the string line from here and run it back forward now because I'm putting bulkhead uh, three in position and I want to make sure that everything lines up from there. So that's the next step. And then from there, I've got to tweak my position here. And this is my process, spirit level on the top. I've got some tape marks at um, 100 centimeters off the ground. And that is on my spirit level, which runs along my center line marks. Excuse the camera's struggling to focus. Runs on the center line marks down the center of the bulkhead and lines up with Center line on the floor. Alright, the string is run, but it's not tension. Now it's time to put our legs down here, which will then hold our bulkhead in position, and then I'll remove the clamp from here. Mark here for a hundred centimeters or a thousand mil on each of the bulkheads. Yep, that one's correct. Yep, perfect. And bulkhead three, which is the one we've just done. Alright, that's it for today's episode. Do apologize for the delay. There's been some serious things happening here at home which is affecting the building of Skimmer and may change it moving forward as well. So there's actually some big news in the next episode. Make sure you tune in for that. Um, and uh, if you liked today's video, please uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. Uh, the funds from my YouTube channel are paying for the build of Skimmer. So the more people that like and subscribe and share, then the more they can keep building and making these videos. So um, 
thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.